the Attorney General, bonjour, please hold. Thank you for holding. Can I help you? Is there somebody or some division that deals with the domestic abuse? Uh, yes, there is, sir. There's... Um, In the Ministry of Attorney General? Yes, victims of crime. Um, that's what we would... Um, let me see now about the Ontario Victim Service Secretariat. Uh, yeah, it would be Victim Services. Victim Services. And I just got off the phone with them. With them? Yeah. And they weren't uh, helpful? Well, it is a matter of, uh, there's no services really for men out there. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there is a service. Wait a minute. I That's sexual that. abuse, ma'am. Domestic abuse. Yeah, I saw that the other day. One moment, please. Yeah, services for male survivors of sexual abuse. Um, that's apples and celery. I'm talking domestic abuse, and the victim support line I'm guessing you are going to direct me to is one triple eight five seven nine two eight eight eight. Well, I have here a hospital-based uh, domestic violence and sexual assault treatment centers, um, court jurisdiction, victim crisis assistance and referral services network. Uh, but you were already with them. Uh, yeah, and they have very little to offer. The Ontario government has very little to offer. Yes, in general, yes. And I have read, uh, I have been on Google and I've heard from other people. And uh, the only thing that exists for that uh, are like personal organizations that are um, into that, but not really the kind that... Um, that men want. It should be a broader, um, there must, there should be major help, broader help for the people, for the uh, men that are, have been abused, but I don't think they've gotten to that yet. Uh, Ma'am, it should be government funded, just oh, like, I know, I know. just, just like, like the women's the groups are government funded. Exactly. And the last general social survey puts the victim rate at but 6% uh, of men and 6.4% of women have suffered domestic abuse at mm -hmm. the hands of their spouses. Right. So with a 0.4% difference, yes. what the heck is the Ontario government doing about this? Mm -hmm. um, in my case, the abuser was taken to an abused woman's shelter after she allocated to assaulting me right. and then saying, no, he didn't threaten me and no, he didn't hit me. Mm -hmm. And yet, Hamilton Police Services sat there and, in their infinite wisdom, said, well, I guess she's an abused victim, mm -hmm. despite the fact that she was the aggressor. Right. Um, so, is there anybody, like, uh, higher up the food chain that I can talk to about this? Well, uh, I just have here on the, um, on the website, consultation for male survivors, but it, may, it says here of sexual abuse. And I have a telephone number. I don't know if it's the same one that you called. It says, if you have any questions or if you require assistance to provide your responses, please call James Truman at 416-212-1107. Okay, I'm on your website right now. And um, sexual assault rape crisis centers? Uh, no, this one is just, um, yeah, if you this is just something that I uh, got here on the um Male survivors of sexual abuse confidential questionnaire. Again, apples and celery. Yeah. Well, that's all I have right now. Okay. Now, is there like a supervisor or a deputy minister that I can talk to about this? No, you would have to send a, a letter to the attorney general with your um, with your issue, complaint, um, uh, telling them exactly what is happening and what they they should do about it. That. Uh, men don't receive enough support when they are abused like women do and uh, you know to just tell them your whole history the way you were treated and you were abused but on the other hand the person who abused you is the one that got all the comfort no in this case uh, yeah <laughs> uh, all the protection all the cover all the protection all the comfort exactly mm -hmm. um, yeah but there's like like I can't call the deputy minister or... No, we don't. Um, any complaints of uh, any kind are not um, transferred to the ministry. Their people are asked to send their their complaint by, uh, by mail or email or fax, uh, and it will be channeled.
through to the uh, Attorney General. Um, now, who is the new Attorney General? It's the Honorable John Gerritsen. Well, I think I'll hold off on calling him Honorable until I see, see a little bit of his action. That name again is? John. J-O-H-N? Yes. Garrison, it's G E R R E T S E N. Garrison. Ah, uh, okay. Now he's got a constituency office there. Uh, I think his constituency office is in um, Kingston. And the island. All right. Now, as I understand it, they uh, accept collect calls. They should. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your time. No problem. Okay. My bye -bye. pleasure. Bye bye. All right, let's give John Garrett a call. At the tone, please say your name. Ontario voter. Thank you. Please hold. Good afternoon, John Garrett. This it's is something. Bell. You have a collect call from... Ontario voter. You may press 1 now to accept the charges, press 2 to refuse the charges, or answer the following question. We are unable to get billing acceptance for this call. Please hang up. Well, apparently John doesn't accept collect phone calls from an Ontario voter. 